Hello there, this is Christian. Welcome back to my computer and Fusion for 60 again. Uh, this is the Mobius strip, Mobius band in Swedish. Uh, and here we have two of them interlaced with uh, some cutouts. We're gonna end up here in the end, I think, something like this. And I'm gonna turn on the edges a bit easier to see. So this is uh, one model, and then there's a circular pattern on that. Uh, we're gonna start by just doing one Mobius strip and discuss some of the problems and I'll slightly explain why I do the workflow I do uh, there are some other things, steps you can change, you can change do what you like just this is the way I like to do it and I should also say I'm gonna start a new design while we're talking and start a new component uh, there can be some problems with this, this workflow uh, earlier in uh, Fusion we did this there could happen thing. Come on, creative, come on, thank you. Um things work sometimes and sometimes crash because there's a geometry problem with the, the strip, the mobile strip, because it has only one side and the CAS software doesn't like that. So we're gonna start doing some sketches. I'm gonna sketch it from the top side. I'm gonna hit C on the keyboard to start the circle. Let's do it 100 millimeters. <coughs> Sorry about that gonna finish sketch, we're gonna start a new sketch, now we're gonna select this uh, plane here, so I'm gonna do it from the front next or any side you want. We will project in our little edge of a circle, P for project, select the circle. So now we have the projection of a circle here, now I can open my sketches up and hide the first one. For convenience it doesn't matter much, I'm gonna select a line and make it a construction line, I like that. I'm gonna make a line hit L on the keyboard to start line and make a horizontal line you see a little blue uh, constraint popping up as soon as I go out so I'm gonna use that I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna finish the line I'm gonna do a midpoint constraint on uh, this line and here's important select the point out here do not select the line because then the line gonna get constrained in the middle so we're gonna midpoint to midpoint we don't want that I want the midpoint of this line to be to this point here and we need a dimension. We can see we got a black line, but it's not locked. It's still pen over here on the sketch, so we can do it. 25 millimeters. You can change the dimension to whatever you want. And we have two fully constrained sketches. I'm going to finish sketch. Turn on our first sketch again. And uh, we're going to go over to the surface tab up here. I'm going to use a uh, surface sweep to create the base. Uh, there you can do a square and do some other ways. This is just the way I like to do it. So I select the profile. I'm gonna select the path, of course it's our circle. And ta-da, we have a cylinder. That's not what we want, we wanna do a mobile strip. And the thing with that is that we rotate. While we're going around the circle, we are rotating the surface 180 degrees. And we get an error. Uh, like, why? This is not hard. Fusion should be able to solve this. And this is a bit of a problem for Fusion. I'm gonna back it up a bit. If you look at the colors of the surface, here's a nice, uh, nice uh, lighter color and darker color. You can see they are connecting reversed. That's the, the definition of mobile strip. It only has one side, and Fusion gets a problem solving uh, this connection here when it hits together. So my workflow to create this is I'm going in, in here to the sweep command and change the first distance to 0 0.5. So we go doing a sweep, half a circle, and rotation, of course, we need to divide by two, so it's gonna be 90 degrees, hit OK. I'm gonna start a new sweep. Here we can do a circular pattern, some other things, but I like to do a second sweep. We start with a line here, so now I'm gonna select the edge here. It's already rotated 90 degrees. Once again, the path is the circle. We don't need the distance, 0 0.5 or half. And once again, we're gonna twist it 90 degrees. And by doing that, we have created, I'm gonna turn off the sketch to make it more visible. We have created what we want. And uh, a small thing here now, like my, uh, yeah, 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 I, I can stitch these together and then thicken it. Let's try that. We're gonna stitch these together. This is the wrong way to do it. I'm gonna show it. And we use the thicken command. And we'll thicken this and we just do the one millimeter. And we'll wait for Fusion to think for a while. And we get an error, but faces in shell have inconsistent orientation. So console, rem delete that stitch command. So we are back now, we are just done two sweeps. And I'm gonna use the thicken command. I noticed this works. 
so far they may change in the future which might not work in the future but now it works and I'm gonna select oh God, but the bodies select the two bodies and wait for fusion to think for a while hold down control to select the second one sorry I'm gonna do that again sometimes fusion can do strange things uh, sometimes to select a second thing you hold down control we can do it out here we can select this body hold down control and select the other one or we can do it from out here uh, the things I'm doing have thickness one millimeter direction symmetric so we get both sides so the good thing here is if you don't stitch them together the thickening command works I think fusion is doing one body at a time so it does thicken one body and then the other one so it doesn't get confused by the uh, surfaces turn around and we're gonna hit OK and the good thing is we get only one solid we don't need to combine anything it understands that these two are supposed to be connected uh, the two surface bodies are not usable anymore so I click this hold down collect cl select the other one select both these right click inside in and do a remove not delete remove so I only have the body I want and we can also have a look now just for fun we're gonna right click on the body and save as STL, STL. And if you have a look here, you can see it's very nice, but here on the connection, Fusion gets a bit uh, wonky and creates a bit of strange uh, triangles and stuff to solve everything. Uh, that is normally no problem. I just want to show it to you. So here we have created our basic uh, mobile strip. And the thing I want to do now, I want to create a second mobile strip that is basically just a circular pattern of this. Looking from the top. Here is a flat line, it's a standing up. So I want this flat part here to intersect where this is standing up. So we get a perpendicular intersection of them. So that means I need to spin this thing 180 degrees around. And I want, well, let's just spin around 180 degrees because they're intersecting, just look like a mess. Uh, so the thing I want to do, I want to do cutouts. And by logic thinking, which I sometimes try to do, uh, if we're going to spin this around 180 degrees, uh, we might want in either here or here, we need an upper slot so that the material can pass through from the second mobile strip. But if we have a slot here, we cannot have a slot opening here. We need a, a material connection over here. So we need, basically what this tells us, we need an odd number of cutouts. So let's create them. We create a sketch on here from the top. And I'm going to hide the body for a short while. I'm going to turn on the first sketch. I want to project in this circle. Yeah, you don't need that. You can use dimension if you want. Hide the first one. Select the circle and make it a construction line. We're going to do an arc. I hit S on the keyboard because it's, it's up in the menu. But I like to use the search function. S and then start typing arc. And I find center point arc. Select the center point. Drag it out somewhere. Do a line like this. Oh, sorry, an arc like this. Now I want to constrain it, so we can do construction geometry, but we can also do some uh, hidden constraints. So you will see them, but uh, this can be good or bad for your design. But I'm going to use it here horizontal vertical. I want to find the midpoint of arc. I can't find the midpoints. I will hold down the shift key and search, and the midpoint of this arc will pop up. So I click there, and then I click the midpoint. Of a, of a circle, center point of a circle, sorry. This means, I'm gonna hit escape to get out of command, that if I now, you can see, it's now constrained so that it's gonna be symmetric. Uh, the other thing, of course, I want this point, or uh, any of the points to be coincident with the circle. Sorry, like that. And we're gonna dimension the angle. So we dimension from one point, center point, and you see we get the dimension now, and then you hit the other point, we get an angle out here. We know a circle is 360 degrees. We all know that. Uh, we need an odd number of slots. And uh, if we make a slot, we need the material in between. So it's double of that. So I want to do, the odd number I want to do is five. But if I do a slot, then I need a material. So that's going to be 10 times divided by 10. Now, if I just do it like this, the slot cutout and material in between, Let's move over to one. What I mean is the slot here and the material in here, if I do this perfectly, 360 divided by 10, they will be touching here. And I want some air in between here, some gap, so it gets this nice floaty. 
So we're going to go in here and do this again again. 360 divided by 10 and I'll add 5 degrees. So I get a bit longer. I'm going to cut out the slots. So this is the path for slots. So by that, I'm going to finish sketch. Head over, head over to solid and create a pipe. Where are you? Pipe. Here. And it always says 12.5 because my finger was like, uh, I did the original line was 25 and I divided by 2. 12.5. I think that looks good. We cut away half of material. Uh, the boring thing now is a little bit of sharp edge here. Let's hide this part again. So I'm going to do S on the keyboard and fill it. I have it as a shortcut here. You can just hit F I want, but I like to do this way. Hit these two edges here. And this is going to be 25 divided by 2 divided by 2. That's the radius of the uh, pipe we created. So you can use animations if you want or do the math better than me. But this is the thing I'm going to use to cut with. But we need five of them. So S on the keyboard, circular, circular pattern. We want to do it on bodies, this body. Axis, we can select the center axis or just simply click on the circle. Fusion understands circles as axis and it's normally adding out three. We don't want five of those. We're going to turn on our first body and now we can see our cutouts. So we're going to do a combine, select the Mobius strip we created and we're going to, yeah, operation is going to be cut. So we select the bodies we want to cut with. And we can also make sure that keep tool is not checked in, so it's going to remove the tools we're using, just keep the body we want, like OK. And with that, we are back to one body. I'm going to turn off that sketch with visibility. And we have now have a mobile suite with nice cutouts. You can shave animation, make them more or less whatever you want. And uh, I like to have some fillets on these, so I'm going to window select everything. Add fillets. Uh, that's a two millimeter thickness, but I noticed one millimeter radius or radius of fillet will crash, so I'm just going to do 0 0.5. There's mo pro most problem is some geometry somewhere that's hitting each other, but I want to soften the edges a bit. So we did a fillet 0 0.5. Uh, da -da, wait for fusion, and we are starting to get somewhere. We now done this, and now we're going to create our second. So we go S circular pattern circular pattern of the bodies once again this body axis is now here it wants to do three we don't want that we only want two and by creating that we have this uh, i'm going to add, add an appearance hit a on the keyboard let's make that one a red and that one a yellow like that so i'm going to hide uh, the lines of the faces so we can see what it looks like so by doing that, we have now created an interlacing mobile strip. Now, uh, the last tips I want to do here is you might want to export this as an STL, and it would be really stupid to print them one by one and then try to put them together. And that would be really some really hard work because that's what you get if you take the right click here on the body and save as STL. And wait for Fusion to think. It will only output one body, and we want both bodies. What you do? You can do on the root level here or on the component. Select it, right click, save as STL. And wait for Fusion something to think. By doing that, if after it's turned black as usual, uh, it gets both bodies with it uh, and orientated correctly so you can print everything sometimes. This is a semi hard thing to print. There are some, uh, you see a lot of people print to be standing up, make it easier. That's the next thing I'm going to play around. So, this is how I create a Mobius strip and an interlacing of two Mobius strip. And take this, play around with it, and do some fun stuff. Take care, see you around, and goodbye.